Hey guys, this is Ev. And this is Josh, and we're the Real Estate Dudes. That's right. <laughs> and, um, so just for any of you who are just tuning in, we kind of wanted to recap the whole project since it's been six months now, seven months. Yep. Um, so this is a project we bought from a wholesaler. It's our very first rehab project. We're putting these videos together just to show kind of what it's really like, how it's gone. Um, so like I said, we bought this from a wholesaler. Essentially when we bought it, it was just walls, yeah, a roof. Um, we could see the floor. We could stand on the bare ground. You could stand on dirt, right where we're at right now. No floors, no nothing. It was yep. just, just, just walls and a roof. That's really all it was. And there's a wall right here, actually. There's a wall. So it had some walls. <laughs> yeah, it had some walls. But that was <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so look back at some of our older videos if you want to see what shape we bought the house in. But it was pretty rough. Pretty rough. And so uh, we started with our very first contractor. His name was Mario. Yeah. And uh, Mario was uh, he's an interesting character. I think we got him from as a reference from somebody else. We uh, we were dealing with him purchasing the, another house we were looking at. Um, and yeah, so Mario had some connections. You know, we got uh, we got the roof done. We got the concrete base poured around the house. We got a bunch of stuff started in the house, demo things like that with Mario. Exciting. Siding, siding was a thing, you know, um, that we got done with Mario, and then, and then something happened that we didn't expect to happen. We got a uh, condemnation summons uh, from uh, from the city. Yeah. So uh, the people who sold the house to us sent us an email with a picture of a letter that they got in the mail saying you are hereby summoned to a condemnation yeah. hearing or something from the city of Wichita, and he sent that to us in an email. We were like, oh man. What does that mean? We have no what idea. What, uh -oh. <laughs> what do we do? Good. Yeah, what do we do? Um, oh, man. And so that was a whole big ordeal where the house was already condemned before he sold it to us, but they didn't disclose it as they were selling it. And it hadn't been um, published by the city of Wichita yet. Mm -hmm. So there was no way for us or the title company to find it um, in due diligence. So it was kind of like a, uh oh, now what? Yeah. Um, so. Short version, we had to go to two separate condemnation hearings and stand in front of this panel of the city of Wichita. Yeah, pictures, plans, engineering, studies done, all that stuff had to be figured out. We have a video about that, about the condemnation. Yeah. So check one of those out. Um, yeah. Yeah, and so as part of that, we had to change contractors um, to go, I guess, the more legit route. Sure, yeah. Um, so that's kind of... Because we had to pretty much have a sign off on every single part of the house. Yep. Um, from the city inspectors. From the city inspectors. Yeah. So we got somebody who's in good standing. I guess we can go to talk about our next contractor. Yeah. Good standing with the city. He knows actually the deputy assistant director, uh, inspection director. Um, and so that kind of helped us kind of deal with this process and keep going. And we got the foundation work done. And from there, what you see now is actually the latest effort. You know, we've got the floors finished. We've got the foundation. Not in, our, in, a, in order of progress, it was it's plumbing. Then we got we got foundation plumbing. We started electrical, heat and air. Um, there are floors in there, yeah, as well. Floors, yeah, somewhere in there. Anyways, <laughs> just so you kind of get the idea of how much work it took after we already switched to contractors and continued our pro progress here. So you will see some shots here, most latest update, but which what we're standing in is enclosed. This is a kitchen area there. This is a living room. The wall was taken out. Mike did a good job on. Yeah, there was a structural engineer that had to sign off on our design to get the wall removed because it was load bearing. I yep. not right? the first project, yeah, the first, first wall we take load out bearing. is load bearing. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean it's been it's been good. We he just finished painting yesterday. Yeah. Um, they did the ceiling work this week, the drywall touch up and painting, um, and that kind of. Just the whole drywall thing, and one of the big issues we've had, the reason it's taken so long, yeah. is just reliability of not necessarily the GC, but the subcontractors. Subcontractors, yeah. Every single <clears throat> job that we've done so far has had some issues with timeline and somebody not showing up for work. Um, you know, they get the bid, we accept the job, we uh, get them initial, get them started, and then they'll don't show up or don't finish for weeks. Yeah, for weeks. So the drywall guy, they. So initially he was gonna start, what was that, back in like July? Yep. Um, he pushed off for a couple of weeks and we tried to get somebody else in here and they said, yeah, we'll come, and they never did. So we went back to the first guy. Mm -hmm. um, he showed up one day, they got the drywall hung in a day and a half, something like 
And yeah. Actually, it took us two weeks because he only worked on the weekends, apparently. We didn't quite get that from him when we yeah, talked to him yeah. first. They said three days. It was going to take three days. Three days, but it means two separate weekends, which means two <laughs> weeks. You know, And we can't really do anything else outside of that time frame. Yeah. So hung the walls. Um, and then went radio silent for three weeks. Just didn't hear a word from him. So the job was abandoned in our, you know, our understanding of it. And our contractor said, yep, that's right. Let's get somebody else in here. You got somebody else in, which of course could be a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. Which at this point we lost timeline and we lost a little extra budget here. So yeah, <laughs> it's been a it's been a wild ride. This is what it's like in the real world, <laughs> not the glamorous stuff you see on the on YouTube, typically on YouTube or yeah, or, you know, in those ads that you see in real estate. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a it's a journey. It is a journey. It's been a great journey. We've learned a lot. We've learned a lot about what not to do. And we're yeah. trying to share some of that, but... Uh, That's right. Yeah, on the first house, we've got full electrical, full heat and air, full, uh, I don't know, foundational work, floors, taking out a load bearing wall, roof, concrete, yard work, plumbing. To get the chimney. Chimney, we've got the <laughs> chimney. That's insane. Whole new kitchen. Whole, I mean, the whole the, thing. The entire thing has been basically a complete rebuild. This is like our journey that's uh, it's getting close to completion. Anyways, let's throw some shots, I guess. Yeah. Uh, oh, You'll see the new paint job. Not a whole lot you can see because once it's all cleaned up, it's not as exciting. It just looks like a house. Yeah, looks like a house. Cool. All right. We'll catch you next time. Smash that like button. We'll and see you later. There's a the, the notification bell that lets you know that the videos are coming. Yeah, whatever. Hit the bell. Do, 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 do the YouTube thing. <laughs> <laughs> see y'all.